All right, I am super, super excited about this project. It's a John Deere 140. Um, picked this up for only $50 from a guy who was you know, just trying to get rid of it out of his yard. He had other projects and, you know, this one was pretty beat up. I'm not going to lie. It was, uh, you know, has has some character to it. So the plan is fully restore it but not back to its an original state. It's gonna be an electric lawnmower. I'm gonna put in a transaxle in this, an electric transaxle. It's gonna be 48 volts, uh, 1500 watt. And I'm gonna go over all the electrical components later on in the video. And I'm also gonna talk about just, you know, how I made these decisions, what, what it took and why I'm going the route I'm going. Now, I'm really, really excited because I finally got it all torn down and taken apart and that took a few days and so I ripped out all the hydraulics took the transaxle out of it um, power washed it all down and basically got it down to just the main components of the the lawnmower all right when I finally got it all torn apart I had to again power wash it down and the mud was caked on probably for like 50 years this is like a 19 69 1972 I gotta look up the serial number and figure out exactly what year it is but it's somewhere around that 1970 range um, anyway the, the dirt probably has been caked on for the past 40 years I don't think it's ever been washed as you've seen in these videos but finally finally I've got every little piece taken off of the frame and it is ready to start sanding it's ready to start priming painting and before I do all that though, I have to mock up where the axle's gonna be. I gotta weld on some different parts. I have to build kind of a subframe in the back. So I'm gonna do all that as I'm kind of preparing, prepping. You can kind of see in some photos here where I've kind of you know, got the, uh, the, the hood sanded down, bondoed, and I'm gonna do a separate video on how I completely fixed that because there's a big chunk taken out. Um, if you're interested in how I did that, you can uh, keep watching for these videos that keep popping up on my channel. Um, I'm gonna show how I did all that. But anyway, it took, it took a lot of time just to get this cleaned up to a point where I'm ready to finally start building. And that is gonna be the exciting part. All right, the mailman came today and man, he brought me my axle and I'm super, super excited. You know, here I'm just unboxing it and I just wanna go over briefly. Um, I, I bought this one on eBay, but you can find them on AliExpress and Alibaba and I'm gonna leave links in the description to, there's just so many different types of these these axles out there. They're all made in China and they're, they're used for like trikes, um, Chinese electric trikes and, and things of that nature. So I had to buy the transaxle. I actually bought a separate motor that I'm swapping out um, because this one's only 500 watt that it came with. I'm going up to 1500 watts. And then also I had to buy um, obviously the batteries and the controller and all, all the other electrical components separately. So this, um, this video just kind of is going over the, you know, the general concepts of what I have. I got links in the description, but I obviously can't quite recommend them yet in this video. Look forward to future videos for when I'm actually testing these things and <laughs> making sure they're working and all that kind of stuff. Because yes, I will be putting this to the test and I'm really, really excited about that. And anyway, this is, uh, this is exciting. Glad the mailman came today so I can get going on this project even more. Okay, so we've got kind of mocked up where the new rear axle is going to be. And I, you know what? I was really hesitant about getting this axle just because, I mean, it's imported out of China. And I just, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure. I, I haven't seen anyone really build with one of these ever. You, uh, you know, on YouTube, I've seen some some channels, but no prominent American YouTuber has ever built anything with one of these axles that I know of. Um, it'd be cool if somebody knew to leave a link in the description to, you know, a video of it. But I am, I'm really excited about it. It feels beefy. It feels solid. Um, I, you know, hopefully the electronics all work, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So that's kind of the rear axle. I'm going to end the video here because I don't have the controller yet. And not only do I not have the controller, but I... <laughs> I got a lot of things I got to work out. I got to figure out how to get all this welded on there. So it came with all these brackets. So this bracket will go here. Not the weld that on there. 
and then it's got a bunch of U clamps and stuff to uh, to secure it. So I'm gonna have to build up kind of a subframe on the back. Uh, you got to figure out all the braking system. I'm gonna get rid of this brake lever. I'm gonna obviously use the foot pedals and things like that. Um, I do want to do individual brake calipers so I can control each brake. So that's gonna be a project all on its own is figuring out the brakes. I do have a different motor. It actually got here the same day. So this is a 42 volt or 48 volt 1500 watt. Whereas this is only a 48 volt 500 watt. So big difference there. Okay, but besides that, hope you guys enjoyed. It is a project and it is gonna be awesome when I'm all done. Really excited, really happy. Still gotta figure out the battery, battery situation. Right now I have 48 volts of lead acid, um, but I wanna go to lithium polymer or I know, some type of lithium battery. I still gotta do some research into that. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention, a big issue is gonna be these hubs for one had five so I got, I got to figure out how to mount those rims on that axle I'm gonna have to do some kind of uh, I gotta figure something out to get all that to work so anyway lots of work to do uh, stay tuned subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series and the part two I'm gonna be completely restoring it repainting it it's gonna be awesome so stay tuned